Hello, today we are building the Nomad four-wheel drive off-road chassis. For this project, you will need a Phillips head screwdriver, a 764 hex key, and a 332nd hex key. All of the screws used in assembly of this kit will be 632 by one quarter inch. For the first step, you'll need the ABS base plate, both side plates, both front plates, and the beam attachment block. Using the four corner holes, fasten the attachment blocks to the smooth side of the base plate. Next, snap the front plates into the corresponding holes on the base plate so that the rough sides are facing away from each other. With this in place, snap one of the side plates in place and fasten it together using the attachment blocks. Repeat this step for both side plates. For the second step, you'll need three pieces of four and a half inch channel and six 90 degree dual side mounts. Attach the side mounts to the second set of holes on the outside of the channel. Do this for both the left and right sides of all three pieces of channel. When you've finished, you'll fasten the channel to the front of the chassis, the top of the chassis, and the back. Next, you'll need a six inch piece of channel, four 90 degree dual side mounts, a quarter inch quad pillow block, and quad hub mount C. Attach each of the side mounts to the fourth set of holes on the side of the channel. You'll attach two side mounts to each side of the channel. Next, attach the quad hub mount to the end of the channel so that it sits flush with the edge. You'll do the same with the quad pillow block on the other side of the channel. Once you have that together, fasten it to the bottom of the chassis. If you've put it together correctly, your side mounts will sit on the inside of the ABS plates. Next, you'll need both 12 inch lengths of channel, four quad hub mounts, and four clamping motor mounts. Combine the motor mounts and the hub mounts. You'll create two sets of these. Make sure the motor mounts are connected to the same side of the hub mount but facing opposite ways. Fasten the mounts to the end pieces of the channel so that the screws in the motor mounts faces away from the channel. Repeat this step for both lengths of channel. Next you'll need the quarter inch bore set screw hub and the 8 by 1 quarter inch D shaft. Using one of your 12 inch pieces of channel, attach the set screw hub to the side of the channel that your motor mounts are on. Next, insert the D shaft into the set screw hub so that the shaft continues through the channel. Lock this in place using the 3 30 seconds hex key. Next, you'll need another quarter inch bore set screw hub, two flanged ball bearings, and two plastic spacers. First, attach the other piece of 12 inch channel to the side of the chassis that has the quad hub mount. When doing so, make sure to orient the channel so that the motor mounts are facing out away from the chassis. Next, slide the ball bearing down the D shaft and snap it into the hole in the channel. After the ball bearing, slide a plastic spacer down the shaft and then slide the shafting through the quad hub mount attached to the chassis and then through to the other side. Use a second ball bearing on the other side. In order to get this bearing firmly in place, you might have to loosen the four screws holding the channel in place. Once you have the bearing in, re-tighten the screws, then slide the plastic spacer and the final set screw hub. Tighten this in place using your 332nd hex key. Next, you'll need the four precision planetary gear motors. Slide each of the gear motors into the clamping mounts until the wide section of the motor is firmly against the mount. Tighten these in place using the hex key. Next you'll use the four wheel adapters. Connect each of the wheel adapters firmly in place on the motor's output shaft. Make sure to align the set screws with the flat part of the output shaft. After that you'll need the four off-road tires, the four foam tire inserts, and the four robot wheels. Assemble the wheels by inserting the foam into the tire, then placing the wheel inside the tire. When that's in place, you can fasten the tires to the wheel adapters using the screws included with the adapters. Repeat this step for each of the four wheels. Next, you'll use the two ABS plastic doors. The chassis doors attach simply by sliding them into the set notches on top of the body. This kit also includes end caps for the motors that can be placed on once they are wired. Your Nomad should now be ready to use. If you have any questions about this video, feel free to leave a comment or contact us at servocity.com. Thank you for watching.